tackled insurgency and we've spoken to the military intervention in tackling insurgency. But Mr. Speaker, sir, it is often said that the problems of insurgency are tetra-headed. And of course, while we deal with it militarily, it's imperative for us to look at the reasons behind it in the first place. From what I gather, as in spite of the fact that Borno State has one of the oldest secondary schools in northern Nigeria, aside from the capital, which is Medugui, most of the other places around do not have any schools or any higher institutions. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is little wonder then that Boko Haram took root in a place with an ideology that said Western education is bad and it found followership. Mr. Speaker, my concern is that for as long as we tackle the fighters, if we do not tackle the ideology, then we cannot be said to properly tackle the scourge of terrorism. Only this morning, 50 people were killed, and the numbers are on the rise. And it is because, of course, let us not forget that the ideology behind Boko Haram is Western education is bad. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, when we as a parliament continue to talk about funding the military to fight it, we must also realize that there are several solutions to tackling terrorism. Of course, one is military, the other one is tackling the ideology. So if as a government we put higher institutions that will train and retrain the teachers and challenge the ideology of Boko Haram, that indeed Western education is bad, then we're tackling terrorism at its root, not the result of the terrorism. Of course, Mr. Speaker, sir, to that end, I believe that in spite of what it is that we do every year, we put a lot of funding into human resource development, which of course was a large component of the World Bank loan that Nigeria took to rebuild the Northeast. And we do not really see any tangibles. I believe that the international community believes that our country must find homegrown solutions to tackling Boko Haram. And this is one homegrown solution, which is building schools and challenging the ideology. Of course, for me, Mr. Speaker, sir, quite aside from that, it also opens the door again for equity when the chairman of education says that he supports it for equity. Therefore, aside from the reason that I've just proffered with regards to challenging the um, narrative and challenging the ideology of Boko Haram, I also agree with him in totality that for equity, after Borono, we should move to Abia. Thank you very much.